Well, howdy there, Internet students. This is Mr. Hermanson again. Uh, this uh, substitution stuff is usually kind of hard for students, so I thought I'd make a bonus video. And um, I'll work through a couple of these problems that are on your practice. Um, so here's how I would attack number one. Um, right here is where I'm going to substitute. I'm going to substitute for y. And what I'm going to do is put 6x minus 11 where the y is, right there. So I'm going to write negative 2x minus 3y, the bottom equation, instead of the y, because I want to put something in place of that y. I'm going to put parentheses there. And uh, then I just write the rest of the equation. Now the thing I'm going to put in there is 6x minus 11, what y is equal to. And I'm going to simplify all of this using the distributive property here. Combine like terms, the negative 2x and the negative 18x makes negative 20x. And the rest is just solving equations like you guys have been doing. Subtract 33. Divide by negative 20. And I get x equals. Two. All right, and now that we know what x is, we're going to use this top equation here to find y. So I'm going to do now that I know x is 2, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this x is 2 here, and I'm going to put it in x in this equation, 6 times x minus 11, and that's 12 minus 11, which is 1. So my answer is x is 2, y is 1. All right. I thought maybe I'd do one more with you. Uh, down on number 7 and 8, both of these you're going to have to find out what x or y equals first. So let's look at number 7 here. I'm going to choose to let, to figure out what y equals in terms of x right there, because y is all by itself and it's positive. So, um, so I'm just going to rearrange this equation by adding 4x to both sides. So I get y equals 6 plus 4x. Now I can put 4x plus 6 where the y is in the second equation. So I have negative 5x minus y. Now in place of y, and you really do need parentheses here, I'm going to put 4x plus 6 because that negative will distribute and make both parts of 4x plus 6 negative when you simplify it. The other way you can think about it is you're distributing a negative 1. So you get negative 4x and a negative 6. And then I'm going to combine like terms. So negative 9x minus 6 equals 21. Add 6 to both sides. And divide by negative 9. And we get x equals negative 3. Now to find y, I'm going to use this part right here. 4 times x plus 6. And so I'm going to put the negative 3 where the x is. Do 4 times negative 3 plus 6. So y is equal to negative 12 plus 6, which is negative 6. So there's my solution there. All right. Um, Hope you found that helpful.
Remember, math is everywhere, so you might as well be good at it.